Hi, this is um, my very first recording. My name is Stuart Lefebvre. My handle is xjdub. I've been contributing to a website called Godlike Productions for about a year. Um, just trying to get some momentum going so that I feel like I, I have a right to contribute to the, to the discussion going on right now. Um, involving Jehovah's Witnesses and Watchtower and what's become of it in recent years. Um, I think there are many people who are leaving the organization, who have successfully left the organization, um, who are very hurt as a result of what they've seen in recent years who were very hurt as a result of what being loyal to that organization for however long cost them years of their lives that they're never going to get back sacrifices, loyalty, hard work, commitment broken hearts that um, have brought them nothing but uh, I guess a story to tell and it's very encouraging to see so many of them having the bravery to tell that story online. And the fact that there is no one identifying mark to the approach that ex-witnesses are taking is very exciting. Some of them are very angry. That's perfectly understandable. Some of them are very composed, and that's inspirational. <laughs> so it's all good. It all contributes and it all helps and there's something for everyone. So I guess what my contribution is going to be is um, is going to be just um, points, arguments, reasonings, whatever. I was thinking I was thinking um, tell you about an experience I had going up to a cart here in Vancouver about a year ago now where um, it was it was placed in a very um, prominent area lots of foot traffic and I had been passing by it on and off for um, a few weeks and um, was trying to work up the courage to go up to the witness manning the cart and um, start sharing some of the information I had been learning, doing my own research, watching Lloyd Evans' channel, John Cedar's channel, and going to JW Facts and JW Survey, and and going through some of the old literature to do my own comparisons. And it was very disappointing. And I was I knew that I was going to be very angry doing it, so I was letting time pass, letting time pass. Anyway, one day. <laughs> I was passing by the cart and there was a man who was clearly upset, he was clearly homosexual, and he was clearly getting in the face of the sister manning the cart when it came to Watchtower's uh, homophobic arguments and views, especially in one recent article, or, or recent at the time. From what I could tell, anyway, um, clearly upset, clearly gay, and um, I was like, good, quite frankly, you know, let this man, regardless of his sexual orientation, regardless of his, of his anger, let this man present some of these arguments to this sister. Just because someone is gay, just because someone is angry, doesn't mean they can't be bang on right about what they're saying. Anyway, so I walked up to him and said, um, basically agree with him, saying, oh, you know, you're right, and have you heard about this, and have you heard about that, and they don't answer questions that don't flatter them, and if they can't control the conversation, they don't have the conversation, they endure it and feel persecuted, and no one is more prolific at influencing the premature death of Jehovah's Witnesses than Watchtower through their policies. And I wasn't even talking to the sister. I was talking to um, the gentleman. And um, the sister was obviously very disturbed by some of the points I was making. 
she took out her cell phone she took our picture and she started waving it around arrogantly saying well the police have directed us <laughs> the police have directed us to take the picture of anyone who harasses us and and, re and report them to them so no discussion no please take it somewhere else no 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 unsheathing her sword of truth and and setting us straight while we were having our own conversation didn't involve her we were just standing in front of the cart having it i was very calm i was very calm i was calming him down i was doing her a favor but she couldn't stand the points I was making and what I was saying and the connection that this gentleman and I were establishing having a conversation about the total absurdity of Watchtower and Jehovah's Witnesses so she couldn't stand it she took out her phone she took my picture our picture threatened to report us to the police packed up her cart and walked off just feeling so vindicated it was truly pathetic it was pathetic anyway so, um, I guess I can continue the story. Okay, so, I know that this person, who I wasn't even talking to, took a picture of me in the interest of threatening me with police involvement. And the hypocrisy of that, the hypocrisy of that was just on so many levels. Okay. You have someone who demonizes the police, who paints it in the most unflattering color possible at their meetings and in their conversations and in and, 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 and their literature okay, that they read. And here you have them running to them for protection and backup and to use them as a threat when they don't like the way a conversation is going so it's amazing and actually I had a similar experience with a circuit overseer who instead of responding to some questions I was putting to him based on my research and based on what I've learned from people in the XJW online community instead of answering the questions and before he even told me to go away and ask me to leave him alone he too was taking out his cell phone and threatening to call the police So here you have two examples. In the first case, a pioneer sister. In the other case, a circuit overseer. <laughs> here you have evidence, in my experience, of Jehovah's Witnesses not using the sword of truth, not using God's word. to defend their faith to overturn strongly entrenched things to shine as an illuminator in Satan's dark world okay here you have them not using the Bible okay the sword of truth but instead presuming to have at their disposal Caesar's sword So think about that. Okay. What does that say about Jehovah's Witnesses? In my opinion, that they're mentally ill. That they're nuts. That they're that they're slowly but surely losing their minds. When someone is that blatantly hypocritical, something is wrong. Okay. And by the way, for Christians listening, the sword of truth, God's spirit, God's protection, Jesus' sacrifice, all of that, all of that is there for us all if we want it. Every single person on the planet. Okay? 
it takes apparently from in my experience it takes thinking that it's only there for you personally this or that group to truly be a hypocrite there's professing to be a Christian which means you're just an aspiring Christian there is no being a Christian there's no such thing there's no such thing as a Christian there are just aspiring Christians anyway it's one thing to profess to be Christian and it's another thing it's another thing to claim that you're more Christian than anyone else Christian enough to be worthy of life where everyone else isn't that that will turn you into a hypocrite as those two um, stories prove so I think that is a perfect example of what Jehovah's Witnesses have become no one hates Jehovah's Witnesses because they're true Christians we're frustrated we're laughing at them because of how ridiculous they've become and how sad it is that so many of them are never going to see it and if they see it honestly admit it and make the break and the people who have done that who have admitted that who've made the break and who've tried to move forward who've successfully moved forward as a result of doing one of a million different things to get on with their life that that is the witness that Jehovah's Witnesses are giving worldwide the growing XJW movement the Facebook groups the YouTube channels the websites the the voices that continue to make a contribution to the discussion mine as well this is what Jehovah's Witnesses are becoming known for the strength the character the conviction the honesty the courage the ex-witnesses in the early part of the 21st century were showing by leaving by being good moral decent giving conscientious tolerant people because that's just a good way to be not because it means we're gonna be possibly provided with escape at Armageddon or stand out as true Christians in a world of blinded unbelievers, end quote. So, anyway, thanks for listening to me.